Howdy, howdy. This is just an attempt for me to show what the heck I've been up to because I've not been streaming as much as normal. Uh, first things first, I need some incense going. Pardon my messy garage. It'll always be messy. These are what I've been making. I uh, need some sunlight to do these justice. Like this little guy. Or any of these ones. Need to water them. Some of them come out all right. That one I took apart a little too early, so it's broken. We are gonna be making some of these bad boys today. Oh, we're gonna mix concrete in a little bit. So I do these in these metal trays so I can pretty easy. Of course this is the one that doesn't go easy. They just come right out. I gotta, gotta soak this bad boy a few times and then it'll get to the proper hardness and it'll polish off a little bit. There's a little concrete sitting on some of these glass. Of course, I need to spray these bad boys down again. Of course, when you're mixing concrete, you should put a mask on. If you're mixing a large amount of it, um, it helps you not breathe like. I have to do a little bit backwards. I'll put the water, a little bit of water, in my bucket first. I got a drill. Basically, I keep it a little runnier than you would normally want it for normal, normal, normal pulls, pours. Can't talk high on concrete dust. Of course, I'm gonna trap some of the vibes in here of my incense. So into the darkness we go. 
Bye bye, garage door. Voila, I do have light. Uh, let me move a few things around real quick and restock my my glass bowls here. Now, normally, I have uh, some music blaring to get a, like I said, a vibe going of sorts. I like to do like a light meditation while I do this. And then obviously sometimes I don't, it kind of rotates, but I'll still do a breathing exercise and then the rest of it will probably be time lapsed. Uh, let's see. Get these bad boys going. Where's my horse? Shout out to my brother for hooking me up with this horse I just dropped on the ground. Give me a second here. Oh, put one of these bad boys in there. That'll keep it contained. And this other little guy, we will take him up top. Oh, you can see my remnants right there. But to have a nice strong scent going uh, of course we're working with metal trays so I need to go apply something to keep the concrete from sticking I usually do it every once in a while I don't do it like every single time I uh, put parts in you do it too much then it's just like all Vaseline and not all part but if you don't do it enough like earlier when I was struggling with the first one trying to take it out it's a real pain in the butt so give me a second and like many people, I have my own Indio. I can't even talk today, I'm giving up. But I got this here, little tin here. I got a little 100% pure petroleum jelly. And I have a heat gun. Very useful tool, I recommend having it. This one was 10 bucks, but let's go back over here. And pretty straightforward. Scrape that in there. As with all things, lube it up, make it easy. And we're just gonna give her a little hit with the heat gun. I don't need to melt it too much, just gotta be careful because the metal is hot. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. And I got a little sponge here to make this a slightly easier application. And I'm just gently coating all surfaces I expect concrete to touch. And a few of them, like up here, where it's not supposed to touch there, uh, but it's, it's going to inevitably. So, part of why I'm making this video is because I've been streaming a lot less lately. Because I've been trying to like recalibrate how I wanted to do things in life in general. As uh, a lot of very uh, important and what I would consider personally powerful moments in life have been coming together. Thus, rethinking not so much what I want to do, but how I want to go about doing it. And one of those guilty parties of multitasking a lot of stuff all at once. Uh, typical of people with the ADHD in our time. Um, some people have talked to me worrying about me uh, stretching myself too thin. And partially I agree, or I've been trying to do too many things all at once instead of just a few things at a time to get like, you know, the maximum yield results. And I think a real common problem you can run into in life is having things you want to do, having your reasons to do them, and them not lining up with other people around you always. And me personally, I've been fortunate enough to be stubborn enough to keep trying shit the, in the way I want to do it, regardless of outside influence. Ugh, gotta squat down a little bit. 
Um, this is a blessing and a curse. The, the blessing of it is that I'm never in a situation where I I don't know what the outcome's ever going to be, but I never, like, am, like, worried about that aspect of, like, having to do shit or not do shit or can't do this or that. Uh, the curse is that because I don't do things in a particular way that is approved of by most people, I end up in situations where some stuff takes just a, you know, a little longer to get where you're going. Or while you're in the process of making something from the outside looking in, it looks like you're not doing anything. Or it looks like you're confused or lost. And you know what? Sometimes I am. Sometimes most people are. But that's not the end of the world. You're going to be lost some of the time. The world's a pretty goddamn big place. So getting holed up, stuck on there, or worried about looking like you're doing something, uh, oftentimes, in my opinion, is a way worse distraction than trying to do a thousand goddamn things all at once. So I currently right now, <laughs> pertaining to back what I was talking about, uh, have like, I want to say four YouTube channels, each posting different things, uh, or trying to post different things, trying to give them all their own identity, and two streaming channels, and then a few other places where I just post stuff online. Uh, personally, I just enjoy making things in general, and posting them, uh, usually for a laugh. But then there's also other stuff where I've been told time and time again I should do a better job of sharing uh, perspectives or an activity or whatever. And so I've been thinking about that for a few months and how to best go about that. Now, the reality is I or anyone else, <laughs> the way I'm squatting right now is just ridiculous, but it's, I think it's worth it. It's good. You should sit in like a nice squat every day for a few minutes at the very least. It really helps the blood flow. Really also helps you if you're a fat guy, uh, breathe hard while trying to talk, which uh, everyone loves that, uh, including the person experiencing it. But I could spend hours, and days, and weeks thinking and thinking and talking and writing down and thinking and more talking and more writing more shit down and more thinking and talking and talking to other people and asking their opinions and thoughts on shit. And then going back to myself, asking my opinions and thoughts on shit. And then just doing that big uh, planning period circle jerk uh, indefinitely, forever and always. Or I could do what I've been doing the last month is mentally uh, what seems to be taking a break. But the reality was conditioning where I get myself in a bit of a routine that's functional for me but not necessarily functional to uh, everyone else's causes. Uh, I think that's a big problem with trying to make shit on YouTube or Twitch is that you get, you get into two positions. One, worrying about money, and two, worrying about clout or growth. And for the amount of time I've spent streaming, I've really not given a shit about growth outside of just like I want to stream more than fuck to more than fucking three people, which fair enough, most people strive for that. Um, but I will admit I've kind of lost my sauce in terms of doing shit that I think was fun that other people find fun. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean like not playing the same game every single day, but more. Sorry, I got a little. Acid reflex. More of a um, showing up wanting to, to do it without worrying about numbers. Because I think numbers kind of plague that shit. And the reality is, as a aging man, you have to do shit that is valuable to your time in terms of making your life better, uh, whether you want to or not. Uh, and what that means for a lot of content shit for most people, means they're not going to spend uh, two, fucking 
three hours making a silly little shit post edit or doing a tutorial for something that's only gonna get like uh, 10 views. Like it, it seems like a waste of time. But my opinion, and it's just an opinion, it's not a way things need to be, it's not a way anybody needs to uh, appreciate necessarily, is that when you're doing anything, whether it be in life or business or otherwise, you should do shit that, oh, sorry, I gotta get this glove off, genuinely interests you, regardless of the outcome. So, what this entails, for me, personally, as a streamer, is I'm only gonna play fucking games that I think are fun. I'm only going to, oh, let me move that. I'm only going to interact with people that, you know, make it a genuine interaction or whatever the fuck. I'm going to do things that I want to do. I'm not going to do shit for, uh, what do you want to say, views or what would be popular or trending or whatever the fuck. Now, this comes to my detriment sometimes because... I don't lean into all the fucking stupid goddamn rage bait, clickbait bullshit. And I admit that that is a fault of mine because this is a path that people have made and made very clear fucking works. Works excellent, in fact. Works great. Uh, can get repeat results continually. Where am I going to put this? Is this going to actually let me put you here? Hold on a second. Hopefully that's looking in here. This first one's going to be a little distracted, but I will uh, work my way into a better place soon enough. But the issue is a lot of people that do that get burnt out. And applying the same logic that I have with some as aspects of exercise or reading or any of that kind of shit or learning is you're better off putting energy into discipline of some sort of discipline and some sort of routine that you can sustainably do indefinitely or until, you know, life forces you out of it. You know, you never know, like you can get an accident or have a disease or uh, maybe your priorities completely shift because your world's changing. You never know. You don't have, you don't have control over that or knowledge of that, but you're better off doing stuff that you otherwise would have done, whether there's a million dollars involved or one dollar involved uh, and that's kind of like it's not really a secret but that's passion right well <laughs> the issue I run into is back to the whole conditioning because I need to condition I realize this uh, as a person I've never been one to excel at shit um, off the get-go I am one of those fucking people that has to like practice a bunch or read a bunch or work a bunch at something to get good at it. And just the unfortunate thing is I don't share everything, whether it's a mental process or a physical thing where I'll just do this shit alone. I've always done most stuff alone. And I have felt rewarded when I don't do stuff alone, when I've worked with certain people, because some people just get it. It's, it's not a thing I have the capability or capacity or words to describe. But sometimes when people are on the same page, when you're working on something, be it like again, like in business or workplace or in like relationships, um, it just feels good and works good. Uh, feels good, fits great, like the like the Fruit of Loom sweatpants. Um, no, no product placement here. Just that was a tag that used to crack me up. Um, when it's flowing, it's flowing. But I'm not always fucking flowing, so I have to go out of my way and hyper fixate and focus to get better. And a common issue that I think a lot of people run into, myself included, occasionally. Not always, because I'm pretty, I think, pretty standoffish in most instances. Uh, and I'm not open to critique a lot of the time. Not so much because I don't want to hear other opinions, but a lot of times people give you a fucking critique, but they're not trying to improve you, they just want to try to tear you down. I, uh, I bang this on the table so that they all float uh, into a thing, uh, onto the surface but they still get locked into the concrete. And this one's kind of satisfying. And it gets a little of the bubbles out and a little shake here. Don't forget, we're still doing arts and crafts here right now, boys and girls. Men and women, non-binary son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Give me a second here. 
grabbing more concrete. I have to condition in the sense that for me to get good at anything, be it video game, exercise, or whatever, I have to do a lot of repetition. It's like Mr. Miyagi bullshit. Like I gotta like sweep the floor a thousand times before I master that technique or feel like I have. And I don't believe in shortcuts. I don't really think there's a book I can read or a uh, like manifestation or some shit that speeds any fucking thing up. And I do kind of believe when you're putting in the work one way or another, there'll always be people or seemingly always be people there to assist you on your journey, so to speak, in one way or another. A lot of times it's just something as simple as some kind words, uh, which I think most of us would agree goes a long way. It's just one simple somebody, you know, feeling sane. This is the thing that we talked about in yoga. Uh, but, like, feeling sane helps you, like, in my opinion, revitalize the spirit, so to speak on uh, being able to continue and go forward and not stop or stall or give up or feel like it's a futile fight. And to be fair, I've had plenty of those moments where I thought things were hopeless or pointless or stupid or that I was trying in the wrong way. And the reality is, a lot of times I was. Uh, most of the time I was, in fact. And a lot of times I, I would be too impulsive or too uh, hedonistic if you will, to maximize certain situations. And, you know, that's probably part of just being passionate about things in general that makes you prone to effectively screwing yourself over in a lot of situations where time and opportunity meet, but you don't uh, match it with yourself. So... That ties back into, I keep saying conditioning, but the conditioning where you do stuff in a certain way, oftentimes on purpose, the hardest way, or the slow way, if you will, so that when you have it, quote unquote, easy, I love this pattern, um, you, 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 don't, you don't fret, you're not worried about it. A lot of times... We use video games, or I'll use video games, for example, for a bunch of stuff because it's the most relatable thing to me, is early on, you have basic characters or basic equipment or simple characters or simple equipment that doesn't help you beat the boss and every fight takes forever. And it's super long and you have to spend a lot more time learning mechanical skills and like looking for weak spots versus if you just had a BFG immediately from the get-go you just evaporate eviscerate destroy demolish and tear apart every opponent in your path with minimal effort minimal skill even and the problem with that is what is this you think you can just sink down to the bottom you little guy so that sometimes these don't go perfect i need a paper towel problem with that is it robs you of the reward aspect. And I know it's like really cheesy and corny, like some people should work for shit, but it depends what the hell you're doing. You shouldn't have to work extra hard just to survive. I don't believe in that. Uh, uh, outside of certain circumstances, you know, like you're out in the fucking woods. But if you are trying to live a fulfilling life, there shouldn't be shortcuts in some stuff. And I don't mean people making arbitrary obstacles, whether it be you doing it for yourself or otherwise. It's kind of just embracing the suck, so to speak. Wish. Grab more concrete. There's been a decent amount of movements of people talking about that. You got your extremes, obviously, with fitness stuff, I think is most li uh, likely uh, where you would see an extreme, which makes sense because the reality is if you push yourself to do like a polar plunge 
or go running every goddamn morning, whether you like it or not, you're probably going to have easy time doing all the easy, the quote unquote, easy stuff in life, right? The guy who forces himself to wake up at 4 a.m. so that he can go to the gym is probably going to have a way easier time talking to people, finding confidence and finding uh, the ability to say no or yes to things without hesitation, to act without hesitation, right? But where my hedonism comes in here is I'm like, if you're doing that for the sake of fucking doing it, it's kind of fucking pointless. Um, sure, it's some nihilism there, right? Or nihilism, whatever you want to go with. Um, but the other side of it is like, I've never, never been afraid of that. And so the conditioning comes in where I say to myself, well, let me just try it. Uh, and but combine it with my hedonism like maybe I go dip myself in the lake at 8 a.m. every day but I still have a, a beer or 10 no I'm kidding not like that but like maybe I still do the other stuff I like doing but like not you know fully embracing a certain level of degeneracy and other activities I think that's where people mess up a lot of the times and trying to like not that anybody's goal is to be a well-rounded person but a lot of times we, we either or ourselves when you could just have both or you could do both rather, because it's not about having, this is about doing this is active decision making here, right? So I've been conditioning myself physically with more exercise and I've slacked on one of my, my fist of the horse channel because I was doing this. So my garage is a mess. I really can't exercise in here. I have not been skipping out an exercise though, uh, mind you me. I have been digging holes in the backyard, building walls, all sorts of house activities as well since we are now homeowners. So now you get all the excitement of painting and tearing down and building things all the goddamn time. And it's not bad, it's fun. It's satisfying to fix something or change something to what you actually want. That is half of the human experience, it is manipul manipulating and terraforming and creating in your environment, whether it be for artistic or I guess shelter purposes or to please your soon to be wife. You gotta do stuff, dude. So my conditioning, I just keep saying that, my conditioning, how many times do you think I've said that? Like eight times now? Is so that I can max myself out, so to speak, by doing a lot of shit in one day without the the expense of energy or like feeling tired or feeling pity on himself for like oh i gotta do all this and then getting angry at other people that aren't on the same page or whatever so the conditioning was for me personally to hone in Hone in on being in a position where I can comfortably go hard as shit every fucking day without being worn out. And you see it everywhere else, both professionally, obviously easy examples are like athletes, where you go hard as shit before the season starts, so that when the season starts, it's not a struggle for you to, you know, run a few miles in whatever activity you're doing, or to like have to lift 225 like I don't know <laughs> like potentially hundreds of times at least using the muscle groups not necessarily literally bench pressing a bunch like that's where I kind of splurge off or split off rather from the regular mainstream kind of approach to these I don't know like exercise like I don't in my 31 years of existing I've had like one time where be having a good bench press like helped me in some like uh meaningful capacity whereas being aware of your movements like if you're on fucking concrete all day for example like most people are in some way shape or form being aware of how you walk and step and doing like yoga or doing stretches or getting special shoes to maximize or minimize injury maximize comfort uh, that's kind of my logic unfortunately I, I know I'm not fucking special. Uh, 
I have some vanities, but I don't have enough vanities to like exercise to look better for other fucking people or that bullshit. But I think I think everyone should be aware. What the hell was that? Dude, I love when something falls and I don't know what it is. That's you gotta organize the garage, dude. Where's the discipline for that? The unfortunate and positive thing is I speak for myself is like I influence people around me in real life to act and do things in a certain way. I'm tired of red and blue. Let's play with green and red. Um, so this forces me to pick uh, or be aware of, not necessarily pick anything. It's not my responsibility to make sure other people are taking care of themselves or care to. Um, and I, I firmly believe that. I think that, sorry, people treating it like it is, is absurd, but it's never a bad thing to be aware of that. And so I kind of want to lean more into like money. I mean, that was the reason, like, original reason, actual reason I made the Fist of the Horse, because I wanted to divide the content, but I also wanted to highlight like, bro, I don't just sit here and play fucking Overwatch all day. I do other shit. Um, I think that's like a very massive problem for younger people, not all of them. But, like, the potential for them to just see stuff like streamers or YouTubers and think that those, those people... Because a lot of them don't just sit there and, like, waste away in their room. Which, we do get to see that <laughs> every once in a while. Uh, someone takes that dark path and they suffer the consequences of it. They don't, they're, they're, there's nobody leaving the staying in their room uh, approach to life unscathed. So I want to do stuff and put myself out there in a way that encourages other people to also do that because, it, like, it just feels better. Um, I understand I have the preference to be a homebody. Like, I rather stay home. I don't like going places. I do not like going out. Uh, and it's not because I was afraid of going out or I've not tried going the fuck out. Uh, I worked on the road. Uh, me and my best friend, we did the exciting thing of leaving your hometown as soon as you were old enough to do so. <laughs> and, like... Living that and then working on the road and shit. Like, I'm not uncomfortable around people. It's just, I know... It, one, one of the funniest things, I think, of, like, a, a joke... I don't remember what cartoon or show, but this guy essentially made a joke about, like, oh, I gotta go back to prison because that's where all my stuff is. But I'm like, all the shit I want to do is in my house. Um, and someday it won't be the case. Someday I will want to go, you know, all over and, I don't know, jack off in all 50 states or something. But... Until then, I want to build. I want to build strength. I want to build power. I want to devastate the opponents, so to speak. And how do you do that? Why do you even want to do that? Or why do I actually use I still here? I'm talking about myself here, but like, why? What's the point? And it's because I found the most peace in life when I am just doing and I like how this looks like a cookie. Uh, just doing and involving myself in stuff that I just genuinely enjoy. And sometimes that does include enjoying things that suck. Um, I think that was why I did well in construction. Is back to the whole embrace the suck kind of attitude you see common in like military. Or uh, those like weird, I don't know what the hell you call them. There's like a term for it. But, like some Goggins type dudes where they're just like, I want to I wanna fucking suffer every day <laughs> or whatever. And it's because... Uh, I have another thing I'm going to make on it. I went to the lake the other day and sat in the water. But it's essentially, if all the, the bad stuff, because there's plenty of goddamn bad stuff. Let me rest assured, I have not lived a um, beautiful, pristine, perfect, comfortable life. I have made mistakes. I have been the piece of shit. And I've had people be shitty to me, too. And I've had life be shitty where nobody's even trying to do anything wrong. And I'm not, like, sitting here sad about it. But I do embrace sometimes doing stuff that exacerbates the suffering in some way or another, whether it be physically by going and digging a hole I don't need to dig in my backyard so that I can rebuild a retaining wall. That doesn't really need to be redone, but it would look a lot nicer if it was done. And it'll be kind of gross because there's all sorts of bugs and stuff. I don't like, I honestly don't like spiders and stuff like that, but there's like been a bunch of spiders. I've been digging up a few snakes. Snakes aren't that bad. <laughs> like moving these heavy rocks. It's cold outside, sometimes hot outside. Like, just being uncomfortable so that when you do relax, 
you can fully enjoy it. And oh, a bit more. The silly game I've been playing has included how much time? Oh, okay, we got good. We're good. Has included moments of making your threshold for relaxing slightly higher. And then whenever I'm actually tired, I fucking, I just, I'm done. <laughs> like, I'm actually done. I'm not resting on a schedule. I've not had to rest on a specific schedule for about a year and a half now. For as much as resting when there's time to rest. I just go hard the rest of the time. And I'm trying to increase my threshold for what hard is. Bring it so hard. I'm talking Viagra. I'm talking Cialis. I'm talking Red Chew. Super, uh, Super Saiyan 4. Ultra Instinct pill. And so, as a person that likes doing a lot of different things, I must um, challenge myself and have somewhat of an open mind. But also, because I usually feel good, have a closed mind. Block out the fucking bullshit. Block out the haters and be honest that when some people, they want to help or whatever, and being honest and being like, I don't think it helps if you involve your dislike of what the hell I'm doing. And like, if you're just doing it for yourself, fine, go nuts. I think that's another issue we do as a society is we spend a lot of energy wanting other people to do stuff that the way we want them to do it. Not, not because it's better, not because it's um, necessarily even better for us. It's just, we just want control or we think we need control over other people and like politically anymore. And socially, like a lot of people are getting burnt out on that, but ironically they find spaces where they end up still wanting control over other people's decision-making or experience. And that's kind of funny too, because with the experience aspect, like sometimes you want control of it so you can give them a, a good time. Like you think of things like restaurants, like why should that exist? And it's because somebody's dedicated to the concept or idea that you should have a delicious meal at a nice place or a fucked up meal at a shitty place <laughs> or like whatever other parameters they set it at. But it's, it's control over that. And that doesn't, isn't uh, inherently a bad thing. Like you're allowed to have control or lack thereof and vice versa. It's not, it's not a, I mean, technically it is a competition, but it's not a bad thing. It could be healthy. But if you're in a formative part of life, which I think we do this in phases, I don't think anybody's ever, like, it's not necessarily an age thing. Uh, obviously, if you're younger, it is like immediately you're trying to figure out some identity thing. But as you age, you're going to have moments where you're like, I don't, I think I am a hot pot guy now. So I'm going to you know, spend time learning about hot pots and cooking like that and all that stuff. And it's kind of like you have moments like that and you kind of like, you don't, you shouldn't be building your entire personality around it, but you have some base stats, so to speak, that you're working with that will either make that experience a unique and fun growing one or a terrible stress filling uh, one. And I'm in the part where the stresses I need need to be like the kind you get from uh, doing too many squats. Not financial career based ones. But I always feel like I'm in my best element when I'm allowed to do something that somebody else wants in the way I want to do it. So I rambled there for a bit. So we're just going to do, I'll put a, a chapter or something in here for anybody who wants to skip this. You can just leave now if you want to. It's up to you, but I'm just going to do what I normally do when I make these because normally it's more of a meditative, meditative experience where I'll, I'll have a playlist. I'm not going to put it on here because I don't want the thing to be silenced and hidden because I do want somebody to see this for love of God. <laughs> Lord knows I post enough stuff that doesn't get seen. Um. The, I, I want to, I'll put a playlist of things I listen to. What I usually do is the first chunk of making these, I, I do a lot of breathing exercises and then I have like trance-ish music, meditation music going. 
And then I switch back to my fucking dad rock stuff, because at my heart I am like a like a '80s like glam metal shithead. So I just. Bust open the Bon Jovi is what he's called, right? This is gonna be long. This is gonna be a long video. If you stick to this, I appreciate it. But if you're sick to this this long, please subscribe. There, I'll do the little marketing thing you're supposed to do. You're supposed to encourage people to do that. I really don't give a shit if you subscribe or not. That's up to you if you want easy access. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Um, what you do sometimes, like paying taxes, shut the. F I don't want to pay taxes. Well, you like roads, highways, and people that aren't trying to murder you constantly? Uh, yeah, but why do I have to pay taxes? That's for another time. Because I genuinely don't care. <laughs> don't pay them. Find out what happens. It's your life. It's now or never. Live it how you want to. Let me clean the camera. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm going to do one of these. So... Just simple, and then I'll probably time lapse the rest of them because I got a lot of other stuff to do today. But basically, grab mold. to see if I'm actually in frame here, but hopefully I am. If not, I'm sorry in advance. But well, I was foolish. <laughs> I didn't realize until I finished most of them. I, um, my uh, battery, or not my, sorry, not my battery, my uh, memory on my phone was full. So, I'm just going to do a turtle and then wrap it up. If this gets a few likes or whatever, I'll do one of just like my full regular process without me talking um, of how I make these. Or at least the placing the glass in. If anybody's interested in that. If not, it's fine. I'm going to add a little water. Where's my cup? <laughs> 